Hello, my name is Yan Song Hu, and I'll be presenting Speeding Up Gaussian Splatting Using Photometric Slam. Gaussian splatting has revolutionized graphics by allowing for real-time rendering of novel views from captured scenes. Gaussian splatting works by taking a set of images of the scene and a set of initial poses and points from a structure from motion system, such as Coal Map, and then optimizing the position, sizes, and colors of the 3D Gaussians, which resemble clouds, to create a volumetric representation of the scene. The optimization loss is the pixel difference between the input images and rendered images at each given pose. Applying Gaussian splatting to simultaneous localization and mapping, i.e. SLAM, is a promising area of research. Gaussian splatting can create detailed volumetric representations of a scene compared to traditional SLAM. However, the first SLAM systems using Gaussian splatting tend to be slower and require stronger hardware compared to traditional SLAM. Our research proposes a novel idea to increase the speed of Gaussian splatting. We have done experiments that show using dense point clouds from a photometric SLAM system as initialization for Gaussian splatting will speed up training. Our idea was inspired by a recent paper called Instant Splat that used dense point clouds from Duster, a machine learned multi view stereo system, in order to increase the speed of Gaussian splatting training. Dense point clouds speed up training by reducing the number of points that need to be initialized. We realized that similar dense point clouds can be created using photometric slam systems, which could be easily combined with existing slam systems that use Gaussian splatting. To give some background, photometric slam tracks pixel gradients instead of feature points, which allows it to generate denser point clouds compared to feature-based slam or structure for motion. We discovered when the point cloud imposes from a photometric slam system is used for Gaussian splatting training, it will train faster compared to using typical structure for motion from a system like Colmap. We use the photometric SLAM system direct sparse odometry for our experiments and further modify it to track even more points to make the point cloud even denser. The extra points can be seen flickering in and out in the video. Now let's see some evaluations. As one can see from the video, using DSO allows for faster training compared to Colmap, especially for early iterations which is especially important for SLAM systems using Gaussian splatting. This is further shown by the graphs. In conclusion, we have shown that photometric SLAM can help speed up Gaussian splatting. We hope our research can be integrated into a full SLAM system in the future. Thank you for listening.